This month marks five years since archaeologists began finding graves from Zion Cemetery at Robles Park Apartments along North Florida Avenue in Tampa. It was a discovery that shocked the consciousness of the community. But today, there's been little progress in restoring the erased African American cemetery that is also buried under a towing lot and a warehouse. Tonight, 10 Investigates Emerald Morrow uncovers this. Two of three property owners with graves on their land have resigned from the board that works to make the sacred space whole. Yes, through public records, I got the resignation letters and one of those property owners has a name you might recognize. But the bigger concern here is how much will their absence impact the future of what was once Zion Cemetery? The whole neighborhood over here is getting more and more quiet. But you still hear the hum of businesses you know, literally still on the cemetery. Separate land. Sharing a grave dilemma. We're standing on what are graves as well. Yes, we are. We believe there to be graves under pretty much all of the concrete, sidewalks, driveways, and building slabs as well. They're also on the other side of this fence under a towing lot and a warehouse. So halfway down this way, coming toward us, going all the way out to Floyd Avenue. When Zion Cemetery was erased nearly a century ago and later destroyed by development, records show the land was reparceled like this, splitting graves across three properties. And today, there are three key owners, the Tampa Housing Authority, Sun State Record Service owned by Dennis Creech, and a warehouse owned by Richard Gonsmart, who runs the famous Columbia restaurant in Ybor City. For close to two years, Creech and Gonsmart sat on the Zion Cemetery Preservation and Maintenance Society Board. It's a nonprofit the city of Tampa, the Tampa Housing Authority, and community members formed to help restore the cemetery. But through public records, 10 Investigates found where in 2022, those two property owners suddenly resigned. In a letter to the board, Gonsmart said, due to running his restaurants, development projects, and some periodic health issues, he can't commit to the board. He then gave a $5,000 check for a historical marker. The private business's lack of participation is hindering the Preservation Society's efforts at restoring Zion Cemetery. There haven't been many conversations since. There have been conversations about the city getting involved with a possible land swap so the businesses can relocate. Where does the city stand? Will there be any type of land swap to kind of reconstitute Zion mm -hmm. Cemetery? We are hoping that that land swap is still going to go through. We're working diligently <laughs> on that, uh, but also there's a lot of parts. Mayor Castor said this in January, and we previously asked her about this more than a year ago. But still, Leroy Moore of the Tampa Housing Authority says it comes down to the landowners because only they can decide what to do with their land. All three owners are led today by individuals that were not part of that original sin, let me say. More reason, in my opinion, for those three individuals to step forward and say, I am doing my part in fixing what my predecessors disturbed. And they haven't done that. I don't think either of the two private owners have done that. We've reached out to Gonsmart and Creech multiple times. Creech says he's in conversation with the Housing Authority, which we confirmed, but we only got no comment responses from a spokesperson representing Gonsmart's company. We also tried to talk to him in person. A worker told us he was in the building, but he never came to the door. I know they both desire a resolution, they just have not engaged actively in coming up with that resolution. They have waited for others to come up with a solution for them. And I, I just don't think that's the appropriate uh, position to take uh, as a stakeholder. A stakeholder who owns a piece of land that was robbed from generations of black families. There are permanent seats on the Zion board for the current landowners, and they can even appoint representatives to meet and work toward a solution. Those seats remain vacant. Emerald Morrow, 10 Investigates.
Thanks to Emerald for that report. And you can read more about the Zion Cemetery and the search for other erased and destroyed black cemeteries on 10tampabay.com slash erased.